won't stop till I wear the crown. The return of the king, felonies and all. With Cyril Gann. Oh, Cyril. Ah, you're fucking stuck. Yep. Fuck this. T-shirt on it at the start of so far. Repping. <laughs> Repping what, 2012? <laughs> Cheers. Jacked like Jones. Oh, fuck off. I got nothing. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> it off any longer. I know, love a good procrastinate, but we've spoken about why John Jones will probably be successful at heavyweight generally. We've spoken specifically about this matchup with Cyril Gann, and I've even recorded a John Jones inspired workout for you which will be up midweek. So all that's left to do is for us to watch the return of the king and get our freaking questions answered. Talking of questions getting answered, this video is going to include a very special guest in the form of one Mr. Daniel Spedding, who may well be John Jones's biggest fan, felonies and all. And I really am looking forward to this because your girl doesn't have to do a lot of work. <laughs> the pressure's on you, Daniel. I will just be asking incessant questions. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I- Ah, <sighs> you fucking suck. Yep. Welcome to Hot Ones. The show with uh, hot questions and even hotter wings, or maybe the other way around. Might be hot wings and even hotter questions. I don't know. Okay. One or the other. Would you like to explain your thinking when you start? So time? it would be a good idea before I did the wings tonight mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and put the mm -hmm, sauce on mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and touch my lips. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which one are you most concerned for? What do you think? How are you around spice? I'm not too bad. Box style <laughs> the proper way. True John Jones fashion. John would be proud. Had to rise up just so they could see me. The first one, normal hot sauce. Original hot pepper sauce. Wait. Cheers. Cheers. Something just got me in my nose hole. Oh, we're going in. We're going mm. in. I'm going in. What, um, um, in your opinion, are the key elements um, to a great cocktail? They need to balance. The starts, they need to have obviously have the bounce of sweet, sour, and um, obviously unless it's going to be sour, but then still need to have the sweetness to balance it out. Um, it all depends on the person you make the cocktail for, or if the dance or the demographic you make the cocktail menu for. Like, a main menu that I, I've hated, just that are far too sweet, but it's the demographics. The brunch bitches. Yes, the brunch bitches. It has to have this um, element of difference between sweet, sour, um, but it's going to be balanced, so obviously the margarita is on the basis of more of sour, but it still has to have the sweetest spot as well. I'm going to insert a picture at this stage, but the bomb is such an intimidating colour, especially, so your, yes it looks red on yours, but on mine it looks like hell. <laughs> Which one am I showing to? Am I showing that one? Uh, that one. And that one? I don't want to put it in my body. I'm going to match you on how much you eat and how much Okay, when. yeah, so you... But this doesn't count. Do we move on? Number two, which is what... This one I haven't had before. Did what I had to do just to feed me. I had a series where they had two of the bottles that were peep show based. This, is, this one is um, Kirstie's Metal Hands Mango Habanero Sauce. And it's actually delicious. Cheers. It is a builder. I mean, it's delicious. Do you remember the first time you saw John Jones fight? 
and uh, the feelings that accompanied. Um, the first I remember, oh. first image I have of him is those red and black form shorts, which I believe was against Machida. It was when I just started kickboxing, and I wanted those shorts. It was before it was before it was before it was night sponsored. I wanted those form red and black shorts, yeah. and I was on MMA um, MMA warehouse trying to get them, and they were just impossible to get. And the ones I managed to get were these Adidas ones that had this fucking Velcro thing. That um, they were cool. They were really cool. They were like a tribal pattern. They were like sharks. But, like, tribal sharks. Right, and they were cool, but they had like the perfect sort of the perfect like fit. But they had this Velcro um, like buckle strap. But buckle. Had elastic not been invented? At apparently time? not by Adidas. It was too. F it had no protection. All it did was just rub and scratch me. And that was when I got the form. Um, so when I just started. I got the form gloves, and they were, all I did was just break my already broken knuckles. <laughs> you wanted to reach on Jones so bad. No, it wasn't for. It was the form. It was tough wear gloves. Okay. Um, but yes, of course I did. <laughs> what was the most John Jones move you could pull off? John Jones move I could pull off? Um, Apart from the cocaine. <coughs> probably um, a clinch elbow. Okay. Well, well, it's like well, your sexual awakening. <laughs> sexual awakening? Um, throw it, throw it elbows in bed. <laughs> you do not want these wings. <laughs> you don't want this heat no. for all these wings. I Shall we move on? What was left over I put towards my dreaming. Um, yeah, probably. So what we got? Oh, you're scared of Hellfire. What's well, it's called Hellfire, just fear this. We've got Hellfire, <sighs> fear this, featuring the Carolina Reaper, the world's hottest player. I mean, going off the Carolina Reaper we had and how that was. Yeah, I know. I don't know if this is going to I think, I think it's the colour. It is, uh, the ball wouldn't get me, it was the colour. Yeah. No, if, fuck this. It's already tasting like it's, it's just, got it's, no it's, flavor. No, it's, it's just, just pain. Mm. It's just heat. Flumpy, bro. Just back up. One step removed from the bomb. We have made a clinical error. If an erection made a noise, what noise would it make? Jesus fuck. Um, Look, if an Flumpy has stepped away from you. If an erection, if erection made a noise. <laughs> So you know that noise when you hear someone hit someone clue it's like oh, that's, that's aggressive. Yeah. Uh, it's been very into, isn't it? I was thinking oh, like shit. a <laughs> Oh no, I'm crying. That one's a little bit of a bitch. I mean the good news is. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. The bomb beyond insanity, the one that just kills everybody. <sighs> Cheers! Oh, fuck off. I got nothing. What movie would it be super inappropriate to remake as a porno? <sighs> Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory because it contains so many children. Yeah, children's the go-to. Uh, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a weird thing to say about pornos, but ah, uh, fuck off. Okay, let's let's rephrase the question. <sighs> what would it be inappropriate but still, you know, not illegal? Um. Your hands are playing your own hand. You know which pain I'm with it. Customary. 
last Give week. Give fucking hour phone out. <laughs> To uh, put a little extra on the last wing. You don't have to. What is the um, uh, what's the least least sexy food you can use during foreplay? Fucking the bomb. <laughs> that would mean a hospital. This can go fuck itself. Basically, a fucking weapon. You're a weapon. I think John. I think oh, it's. A, I think it's from wrong with John's leg. He's gonna get fucked his up. Legs. Oh, foot he's fucked. Like that's a, that's a foot that he fucked it against him. Um, oh, but he always has an excuse. Oh, I went out partying, and that's my built-in excuse for if I lose. Oh, I've got bad toes. That's my built-in excuse for if I lose. Would you just move steeply. Would you want me to lean back and crush him? I want you to respect him. Was it John Jones? Was he the athlete that got you into MMA? Look at the size of that um, guy! He should be fighting in there! Oh, the guy that looks like Uncle Phil. I would back Uncle Phil in a fight. Oh, see the... Pound for pound headshot. T-shirt on it, the story so far, repping. <laughs> repping what, 2012? <laughs> it's not going in the first round in like 30 seconds. It would change everything I've... Like every thought I've ever had about it, mate. It's ever. so anticlimactic. I think I think Sybil's gonna gonna crack him in the first like round, and then John's gonna go, ah shit, I should probably wrestle. Wait, oh, oh, oh no, what? Come that on. was not. No, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was one hell of a nutshot. <laughs> So, did John Jones get you into MMA? Um, no, he didn't get me into MMA. I've been watching it slightly before. Um, I can't remember because it's been at least fucking like 13 years since I've watched it. Like, well, John's, John Jones is the first memory I have of like, someone who I followed. His style was so like, just different and dynamic. Mm. Like, cause I think like, that's one in every generation. I think it was just because at the time like, you didn't see anyone throwing elbows like he did. Anyone was throwing like, the way he was throwing like spinning back fists. Oh, oh, Russell. Oh, oh. Oh, Cyril, you going down? Cyril, you worked on this since Francis. Cyril. You've done the work. Like <laughs> yeah. John's style of wrestling is such a weird style of wrestling because... Surely. Nah, he hasn't, he hasn't got that. You can tell by the crown of his head. You can tell by the crown of his head. He's got the wrinkles and his fucking bald ass head. What's your favourite John Jones moment? <laughs> Inside the octagon, but also like. What? 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 What does? Did he just go like? Did he just guillotine him? What the fuck just happened? That is a terrifying man. He didn't, what he happened? Didn't, he didn't get, like the only thing it could have been is a Kamara. Oh shit! Jesus. We're all surprised. <laughs> Even though it's John Jones. How does he do this to us every time? But like that. I can I knew I I, well, I said to the start, if John got him to the floor but John had to get him to the floor and keep him on the floor. But I didn't think it was gonna be a submission game, I thought it would be John elbowing the fuck out of him. That that. I feel robbed. I wanted them to really stand for a uh, second. Yeah. I wanted to see what John would be like, like heavyweight, standing, yeah, exactly, striking. Yeah. And also, who the fuck's gonna do anything else? Do, do you really want your baby? You want your baby in the ring with him? I you do want, want him. You want him. Big Daddy Sipe? He's in the <laughs> Big Daddy Sipe is in the crowd. Watch Big Daddy Sipe is gonna get fucking molested. Yeah. Welcome back to the past, future. Doesn't matter. I'm not quite ready to let go of John Jones and this huge moment for MMA fans yet. So come back midweek for a workout that is sure to get you jacked like Jones, with or without the substances, dealer's choice. Next weekend, we'll move on to one of my all time favorite fighters, Chio, as he gets the respect he deserves fighting in front of a crowd against Corey Sandhagen. While you wait on that, let me know if John Jones lived up to your wildest dreams. And while you're down there, as always, oi oi, drop a like, drop a comment, 
And that's what you would do it. Subscribe! Fuck this.